You're listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at sunnyradio.com. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to bettercreditcards.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Movie Star Monday. Now, we do Movie Star Monday at the end of this hour, but right now we get a little sneak preview because we've got Larry the Cable Guy joining us on the local program as well. He's going to be at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort this Friday for not one, but two amazing comedy shows. We've got him on line right now. Larry, how are you, man? You're doing doing good, doing good. How are you doing? I am fantastic. Excited to have you on the program, but also excited to see you this Friday at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. Not one, but two shows. Is that pretty common? Do you do two back-to-back shows a lot? Well, we're doing two shows because the first one's packed and they're going to do another one. I love that. That is fantastic. I mean, give me a little credit. <laughs> <laughs> I got good fans, so I'll tell you what, we've been doing this a long time, so it's always nice when you... When you put two shows up, you know, that means people want to come out and see you. It's coming up this Friday at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort, a 6 o'clock show and a 9 o'clock show, both this Friday, the 20th of October. I get to be the MC for both shows, Larry. I'll do my best to do a, a real professional job for you. Yeah, that's uh, 6 o'clock. That's pretty early. That's... Uh the wonder we're not doing a brunch show like a 415 or something. <laughs> Larry, Larry and Eggs. That'd be a good show. Larry and Eggs. Well, Dollar State. Well, we are super excited to have you at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort this Friday. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, casino asked me if I wanted to come up. I said, absolutely. Plus, it's close to me. It's not that far away. So yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, coming up and doing that, maybe playing a golf course or two and, and enjoying it up there. So we're going to have some fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's been a fun little career, and, and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. And my fans are awesome. You know, it's nice that in the world we're living in today, it's nice to know a lot of people still got a good sense of humor and still like to come out and just laugh at nonsense and have a good time. And we've all got a chance to get out and laugh and have a darn good time this Friday at Grand Falls Casino and Golf Resort. Larry the Cable Guy, 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Now, Larry, I don't know if you know this, but originally Howie Mandel was going to be there the following night. His show has now been moved to May. It's May 18th. Have you and Howie Mandel ever had a chance to work together? You know what? I have never I ran across Howie Mandel one time at the Montreal Comedy Fest when Blue Collar was a couple of special events up there. And uh, I only met him, I met him only just that one time. We were getting out of the car that took us there and he was standing there. And I think Bill went over to shake his hand, say hi to him. I think Bill kind of knew him. And, and he... Uh, how he, I think, elbow punched instead of fist bumps. He elbow oh, yeah. bumps. He's like a germ freak. Yeah, I've, I've uh, he's funny. That. I've always liked him. I loved him on Make Me Laugh. And how he's a funny guy. So. Uh, but no, never met him, but they're gonna, you're, you're going to love him up there. He's funny. Yeah, I think so as well. Again, Howie's going to be here May 18th, but I'm really excited to see you this Friday at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. Larry, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Well, you're welcome, man. Can I just tell you one quick thing? Absolutely. You know, my mom, I got my mom living with us. She's 87 years old. And I got her one of those life alerts. I moved her in here because I didn't want her to fall down in her place and yeah. us not be around. So I got her one of those life alerts. And ever since I got her that, this is the true story, ever since I get her that life alert, she buzzes that thing five or six times a day. But it's always <laughs> it's always for this. Oh, life alert. I'll run down there. You okay? Yeah, can you get channel six? <laughs> and, chill, but, all right you okay yeah can you get me some coffee yes <laughs> you know and i'm like what else so the other day 
I go down there and she's laying in a little bowl on the side. She'd fallen down. Oh, no. And I said, why didn't you ring your life alert? She goes, oh, I, I didn't want to bother anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what is going on? You didn't want to bother him, but I just got you nine cups of coffee and turned the channel 14 times. And here you <laughs> felt you didn't want to bother anybody. Well, I don't want to misuse the button there, Larry. <laughs> oh, my God. What's going on with her? I love it. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody here real soon so we'll come on out laugh and let's get it done again larry the cable guy at grand falls casino and golf resort this friday 6 p.m show and a 9 p.m show and i'll be chatting with larry again at the end of this hour for a movie star monday interview that's coming up in just a bit did you know you can allocate a percentage of your ira to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover you can put your ira back on the gold standard genesis gold ira is the only ira that can hold physical pressure metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour on a Monday. It's time right now for a real estate update with Mr. Brent Baker. First of all, good to see you at the Sertoma Fest last week. So It was good. Thanks it's always for doing... a good, good event. Yeah, thanks for for doing that and, and today we're going to talk about uh, some steps for empowering home buyer clients with disabilities and this is something that there was probably a day and age where this was never even a consideration and then there's somebody who maybe had a, an issue where they needed this and they're going okay this home wasn't built at all up to the things that we need but it's probably becoming more and more common now isn't it well very commonplace and you know they're starting to think about people aging in place and they've been thinking about this for some time. It's it just takes a while for it all to catch up. Yeah, you know. But there are special needs. Uh, there's a young lady where I grew up. Um, her parents have had to make major concessions or not concessions uh, adjustments to their home. Um, she has cerebral palsy. Yeah. Yet she has done some amazing things, and I think we restrict their lives because it's built around our abilities, not yeah. more people's abilities. So it's, yeah. we talk about, it's more than just ramps. It's more than wider doors. Yeah. Um, it's the height of the light switches so that they can reach them. Are uh, there like laws and guidelines and things nowadays as well? Or is that not even a thing? There are. And okay. that applies mostly to commercial buildings. Okay. But in certain types of housing, it does come into play. And so like, again, Height of light switches, uh, having braille on the surface of the switch plates or on the door um, um, panels. Yeah. And then it's um, access to public transportation. Yeah. How are they going to get around? And for some cases, they have to be near medical facilities. Yeah. Um, for regular uh, appointments and so forth. And so I think as a society, we sometimes either limit them by how our, we live our lives, or we don't give them enough credit for the things that they can do, yeah. we just make it challenging. Yeah, absolutely. So as I'm kind of flipping through the info, because you gave me all kinds of great information here, one of the things says assess the situation and ask good questions. And I suppose that probably would be good for everybody of all abilities to, to ask questions, but maybe even a little more important when you're saying, I'm trying to find the right place for a person who maybe has limited mobility, because you know you probably don't want to be on the third floor in a building with no stair, with no elevator or something then, would you? Correct. And, and sometimes, and I think of some of the older condo buildings that are in the city, and some of those elevators might be a little crowded. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they were built at a time when not everybody was taken into consideration, probably. The other thing is when we ask the questions, are we coming from an assumption or are we asking to learn yeah. about what's important to them, what their needs are? Absolutely. And another thing on here is talks about being mindful of scheduling and showing the homes, because that's probably something else that we should be thinking about for everybody, really, again, when it comes to this. Correct. You know, as a seller, it yes, it's your house. Uh, however, you do have to bear in mind you want it to be somebody else's. So, and sometimes these buyers 
are having to use special transportation that may not operate at all hours. Yeah. And so um, I found that out. Just moving, having my dad moved from the nursing home to a visitation service for a family member uh, on a weekend. Yeah. There wasn't somebody available in the community where he lived. I had to have somebody from Sioux Falls go and do it. Yeah. Um, so there's just a lot of things that come into play that I don't think about as, as an able-bodied person yeah. who can walk out to his garage and get in his pickup. It's not on the top of your mind all the time. No, unfortunately, you know, some people have to live by a different set of, of um, not rules, but... Realities. Realities is a good yeah. word for yeah. what they have to deal with. And one of the other things on here I see, it says, evaluate your ability to serve. And this, again, is a, a thing, and it's kind of what we're talking about right now, but being being able to make sure that you can help them find what they're looking for. Correct. You know, we have to put aside some assumptions and... Um, We've used the word the word um, handicapped, and um, somebody I know, and in fact sold them a house, uh, said that's an old Civil War term. Mm. It's cap in hand is where it really came from. Oh. You know, Civil War veterans, you know, trying to beg for money I didn't because they had no service. means to earn a living back then. Really, people just have different limitations. Yeah, the ones I have are between my ears. <laughs> I think I have those same limitations, Brent. <laughs> um, but the young lady where I grew up uh, has cerebral palsy. I've got a past client who has cerebral palsy. I've never seen somebody go up a staircase so fast as him. Yeah, and yet he's never walked a step in his life. Yeah. Uh, but then there are certain other things that he just simply cannot do. Yeah. Um, but he can certainly operate that that uh, wheelchair very well. And there are certain things that can happen where you go from living a life without any of this on the forefront of your mind to all of a sudden it's, it starts creeping in. Uh, my father-in-law has Parkinson's. And over the course of the last few years, we've noticed you know, it's, it's progressing uh, like it does. And there are some considerations that they're going through right now saying, you know, what is this going to mean in five years? What is it going to mean in 10 years? And... Again, when you're making plans, uh, all of this stuff starts to matter a little more, doesn't it? It really does. And, you know, in some cases it can change in an instant. And um, you go from being able to do everything on your own to an accident or some type of injury, uh, changing your life dramatically. Um, and in some cases, I remember a, a fellow I've known for many years, he and his wife intentionally built their house because they said, in our business, we have to stay near it, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of kids in sports. Mm -hmm. And what if somebody in this family becomes, has a, a limitation suddenly from an accident or a sports injury? And so they intentionally built their house that way. And I thought that was really smart. Yeah. They could stay there well into their retirement years, even after the kids are gone. Yeah, absolutely. If somebody listening is looking for a home, if they want to buy a home, if they want to sell a home, if they want to just chat with you about maybe uh, the possibility of doing something in the future, what is the best way to get in touch with you, Brent? I can be reached at 605-310-0297 or brentbaker at kw.com. Very, very nice. Brent Baker, we try to chat about real estate every Monday. Had a little uh, reprise the last couple of weeks chatting about other things, but uh, we're, we're back on track to kind of keep you up to date on things that are uh, that have to do with uh, the real estate world in Sioux Falls. And you can find him online as well. His website is clientsfirstgroup.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. 
This Day in Sioux Falls History is brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page, West Sioux Studios, and Sunny 93.3. It was on this day, October 16, 1915, a packed house at the Sioux Falls Auditorium spent the evening listening to the Marine Corps Band. Although they were no longer directed by the famed composer and bandleader John Philip Sousa, the Marine Corps Band was the height of musical popularity in the decades before and after the turn of the 20th century. Classical arrangements such as Stars and Stripes Forever and Semper Fidelis were brand new hits at the time, and no band could play them like the Marine Corps Marching Band. This Day in Sioux Falls History has been brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page, West Sioux Studios, and Sunny 93.3. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Hey, this episode of the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour is done. Now, there are times during the bonus hour I'll mention something from our regular program, the John and Heidi Show, which is syndicated on like 300 stations around the country. There's actually a podcast for that as well. So if I mention something that you're going, hey, whatever happened? He didn't talk to that person or this didn't happen. That didn't happen. You can find that podcast at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour.